What's up everyone, my name is Kyler Holland and today I'm gonna to show you something that will change how you edit forever. Productions. This will definitely speed up your editing process. What is a production? Productions provide a flexible and highly scalable framework for organizing projects, sharing assets between them, and keeping everything streamlined, whether you're working on your own or collaborating with a team. Basically, this is a way for you to keep all of your assets in one place. So no more going through all your folders and file. That's, uh, that's my doorbell. So no more going through your folders, trying to find where you saved overlay V2 edit three, one, 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 one. It will always be within Premiere Pro whenever you open up a new project. The best thing is you'll never have to link anything again and you don't have to drag in assets just like I explained, including assets from Envato Elements, which is today's sponsor. And best of all, this will definitely speed up your editing process. So let's get started. What's up? Now we are on the computer. And for starters, I wanna show you what we are gonna to create today and what it actually is. So this is the production panel in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you how to create it. I'm gonna show you how to add things to it, etc. later on in this video. But I wanna show you that the production panel houses projects and that's Premiere Pro project files. Now, in these projects, if you double click on overlays, for example, you can drag anything you want in here. So I have a ton of overlays that I've downloaded from all over the world and free stuff on YouTube. And in this production panel, I can keep it there. So why is this important? Well, this project that I'm currently working on, which is the productions tutorial, does not have any overlays in the actual assets folder as you can see right here. If I go to the project folder, which you should be familiar with, there are no overlay assets in here. Well, what a production does, it actually allows me to, let's say, drag in this overlay in here, and it's actually in my project, but if I go back to that productions tutorial project folder, there is no overlay in here. So this is actually being linked from the production. So why is this important? Well, think of it like this. Now you don't have to go into your PC and find wherever you saved all of your assets and look for that specific overlay and drag that into your project. You can save all of that time by actually pre-planning and setting up your production. Fun fact, you can also import the Ultimate Effects Pack, that'll be linked down below, into the production. So whenever you open up Premiere, the Ultimate Effects Pack will always be in here and you'll never have to link anything again and it's as simple as dragging and dropping it into your project and you have that effect that right there so let's get started let's show you how to set up your first production open up premiere and go to file new production you'll be greeted with this dialog box and just give this production a name so let's call it YouTube production just for reference and it's going to ask you where this is important because you want to remember where this folder is so click on where and then that will bring up your pc and you can save it anywhere for the sake of this tutorial let's create it under our working drive so i'm going to right click in this area create a new folder and we're going to name this the same thing youtube production but I'm gonna call it folder. So I know that this is gonna house everything. If I select that folder, that's where our production is going to live. And all I have to do is click create. Now watch what happened. If we go back to that folder that we actually created this production at, now you'll see that it's created an untitled project as well as a production prod set and an untitled project PR lock. Do not touch either of those because they have important information that helps the production keep running. So if I right click on my untitled project and click rename first project and go back to my file explorer, you'll see that it has change the name of that first project. So now if we look at this folder and file structure right here, you can see that we have the production inside our YouTube production folder. Do not actually put any files or assets inside of this production folder because that will slow down the actual production. What I recommend is right click, type new, 
folder and name this folder assets. Now inside of this assets folder, it's not actually in the production, but we can reference all of these assets and it's nice to keep them in one place. So I'm actually going to paste in here a ton of the assets that I have. And during this time, I want you to think about what you want to be inside Premiere Pro every time you open the project. Now this could be overlays that you are constantly using. This could be audio and whooshes and risers and downers, all this stuff. You need to think about what you want for your production. So inside my assets folder, I have audio effects and these are like film risers and downers. And I also have overlays and these overlays are just stuff that I've downloaded online. And I also have YouTube assets. So whenever I'm creating a tutorial, these things I can use to help me edit my tutorial. As well, if you've downloaded the Ultimate Effects Pack, just drag in the entire Ultimate Effects Pack in here, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up as well. So now that we've created this assets folder and we're starting to think about what we want, we actually need to go back into Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, you have something called a production panel. And if you don't see that, go to window and go down to production. I like to have the production panel on the left-hand side, but you can also move it around. I just think the left-hand side looks really nice when you are working within Premiere Pro. And I kind of have it set up as my own custom workspace. I'm actually going to right click on that first project and click rename. And let's name this overlays. Now that we have the overlays project, you can double click on it and you'll see that it brings it up in the project panel right here. So all I have to do is go to my assets folder within my production and go to overlays, highlight all of these overlays and drag them into that project labeled overlays. Now you'll see that we have all these overlays in this project. I would highly recommend clicking Control S to save your project anytime you do any changes. Speaking of changes, it's very important that in your root of your production folder, you don't do any renaming right here. Don't click on it to rename stuff because that could cause linking issues within Premiere Pro. Now that we have the overlays, let's go back to our assets folder and make an audio project right click select new project and let's name this one audio now you'll notice that if you double click on audio it'll open up the audio project so let's drag in all of our audio effects and you can organize these however you want within your own explorer now that we have these here we can see all these audio effects that we have all you have to do is click Control s and that will save that right there now remember you can move your project windows around anywhere so i typically like to keep them on the left hand side so i have all my assets in one place speaking of assets let's right click and select new project type in envato elements and let's check it out envato elements has unlimited access to over 55 million assets such as fonts video templates motion backgrounds sound effects and more they have a simple license and it will even count when your subscription ends. Speaking of, if you click the link in the description, you will get 50% off an annual subscription, giving you access for less than $20 a month. When collecting more assets for your videos, I would highly recommend checking out Envato Elements. I've actually added Envato Elements to my main production, so I can just simply download whatever I want. And like, for example, this glitch transition right here, I can add that to my video, apply a screen, and I have a simple glitch. So be sure to check out Envato Elements. Click the link in the description down below. Now I wanna show you how to actually open your production since you started to create it a little bit. You'll notice that under the recents, you can see that these are Premiere Pro production files right here under YouTube production. You can just click that, or if that's not there, go to file, open production. And once you do that, you'll see that your recents are here. So the YouTube production one is the one that we were just building out. So all you have to do is click open. And as soon as you click open, it will bring up this little box right here. Now all you have to do is double click on one of those and it's going to open up Premiere. 
you'll notice that since I double clicked on audio, I get this little green icon right here. And that means that this is actually open within my production. And you can save memory on your computer by not opening all of your projects. So if I only need audio effects, I don't have to open the overlays folder, but you can by double clicking on it. And that will open that overlays folder and populate everything in here. How do you create a new project within your production that you want to start working on? Say you have a wedding video or something from work. Well, inside your production folder, this one looks a little bit different because this is my main one than the one we are building out. You can actually right click and create new folders. And we're gonna name this one projects. Now inside that folder, we can actually right click and select new project. And we're just gonna name this one test for now. And that will immediately open up the project folder where you can import media and start to build out your project. This is just like a normal project folder. You can right click and you can make new sequences and start to edit your video as you would normally within Premiere Pro. You can always go back to your main production and look at the projects you have. As we can see, this one is open. And if you wanna get back to the project folder, all you have to do is double click on it and you can start editing like you would a normal video. Now, you don't have to store these video files in your production folder. You can store these anywhere. Like I have these on my NAS right now. You can also drag in projects that you're already working on or you've built out and you didn't have this production yet. All you have to do is navigate to wherever that project is and click and drag that into your production. All you have to do is click copy and this will actually copy that entire project into your production. So now you can double click on it. It will open that project and now I can start to edit this project using the production and I can go into the overlays and I can click and drag these overlays down here so you can start to see how using a production will help speed up your editing process. This is actually a tutorial coming soon where I'm releasing a preset pack all for text. So I'm pretty excited about that one. I also wanna show you how to import the ultimate effects pack. So right click in your production, click new project and name this the ultimate effects pack. And that will bring up the project window and all you have to do is go to your production assets where you save the ultimate effects pack if you downloaded it and all you have to do is click the project file and drag that into that project folder import the entire project and click ok let premiere do its thing and all you have to do is link the media so click locate and navigate to your assets folder double click on the ultimate effects pack and click search that will find the project and click OK. It will link all of those assets and now just click Control S and that will save your project. So now everything is linked and you have the ultimate effects pack in your production. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll link down in the description below Adobe's um, document regarding all the nitty gritty stuff about productions that I didn't really touch on. But hopefully you learned something today and I'm excited to see how you guys change your editing process and if this helps speed up everything. Also be sure to click the link down in the description for your annual subscription of Envato Elements for less than $20 a month. It's incredible. I mean, there's a million assets that you can download and include in your production. As always, if you guys like the video, click that like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you next time.